Scars are a common concern for many patients undergoing breast surgery. While some scars can be subtle and fade over time, others may become more noticeable and require additional care. So today I'm going to talk all about scars, the different types of scars that can result from breast surgery, the factors affecting their appearance and practical ways to improve their look. Additionally, we'll take a closer look at keloid scars, why they form and how they can be treated. So what is a scar? When the skin is injured, whether that's from surgery, an accident or another cause, your body initiates a natural healing process and a scar forms as part of this process. Essentially, it's the body's way of repairing and replacing lost or damaged skin. When the skin is injured, the body produces collagen fibers to close the wound, and this new tissue has a different texture and quality than the surrounding skin, which is why scars often look and feel different. So are there many types of scars? There are several types of scars that can result from breast surgery. Flat and pale scars, these are the most common and tend to become less noticeable over time. Hypertrophic scars, which are raised and may be red or darker than the surrounding skin, and they generally stay within the boundaries of the original incision. And keloid scars, and these are also raised but can actually grow beyond the original wound edges. They can be problematic and require specific treatments. And then we have atrophic scars, these are sunken or depressed scars that can occur when there is a loss of underlying fat or muscle. So what are the factors that can affect scar appearance? The appearance of scars can be influenced by several factors. Age. Younger people tend to heal more quickly but may form thicker scars, whereas older adults may have thinner, less noticeable scars. Your skin type. Darker skin tones are more prone to developing hypertrophic or keloid scars. And medical conditions. Conditions such as diabetes can impair healing, leading to more prominent scars. Autoimmune conditions like lupus or scleroderma can affect the skin's ability to heal properly as well. There are also lifestyle factors. Smoking, for example, is a significant factor that affects wound healing. Nicotine restricts blood flow, which can slow down the healing process and result in poorer scar outcomes. Additionally, skin conditions like eczema or psoriasis can complicate healing and scar appearance. Now, what are keloid scars? Keloid scars are raised scars that extend beyond the original wound edges. They can be more problematic and aesthetically displeasing than other types of scars. Keloids occur when the body continues to produce collagen after the wound has healed. This leads to overgrowth of scar tissue. Why do keloids form? Well, keloids form due to an overactive healing response. And while the exact cause isn't fully understood, several factors can increase the risk of developing keloid scars. Skin type. Darker skin tones are more susceptible to keloid formation. The severity of the wound or incision. The more significant these are, they are more likely to develop keloids. And the location. So certain areas of the body, such as the chest, shoulders, earlobes, and cheeks, are more prone to keloid formation. So how do we treat keloid scars? Treating keloid scars can be challenging, but there are several options available. Corticosteroid injections. These are often the first line of treatment. Corticosteroids help reduce inflammation and flatten the keloid. There is also laser therapy, which can reduce the size and discoloration of the keloids. There's also surgical removal. And in some cases, keloids may be surgically removed. However, there is a risk that the keloid will recur and potentially grow larger. Some people use silicone sheets and gels. These can help flatten and soften keloids over time. So how do we improve scar appearance? While it's impossible to prevent scars entirely, here are several strategies to help improve their appearance. Follow post-surgery care instructions. Keeping the wound clean and protected is crucial as it heals. You can use silicone sheets or gels which can protect and help flatten and fade scars over time. Once the wound has healed, gently massage the scar and this can help break down dense scar tissue. Staying hydrated and maintaining a healthy diet because proper nutrition supports healing from the inside out. 
If you're out in the sun, make sure you use sunscreen as well. Every scar and every person's healing process is unique. It's essential to discuss your concerns and options with your healthcare provider. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next one.